Uh, the U.S. president has now ordered an independent investigation to determine how a local 20-year-old managed to get a clear shot at Donald Trump. The small, sleepy town of Butler, Pennsylvania, tried to get back to normal life two days after it found itself at the center of a presidential assassination plot. Take, Take a look, a look at what happened. happened. When bullets interrupted Donald Trump's campaign event, this Trump supporter was seated with her niece in the front row. It was just the screaming and just hearing the fear in people and, and the children screaming and, and people running. She arrived several hours before the event and was invited to stand behind Trump, but declined, a decision that may have saved her life. In 60 years, I've ever been that afraid or just in disbelief. I am amazed that a 20-year-old could get this together and do what he did. Police believe the gunman, 20-year-old Thomas Crooks, was acting alone, and he came very close. The gunman climbed up onto the roof of that short tin building here behind me, which is located less than 150 meters from where the former U.S. president was speaking. This unverified video appears to show the shooter on the roof moments before he pulled the trigger. Yeah, someone's on top of the roof. Look. There he is right there. Right there. See him? But security apparently did not see him. I would have expected that local law enforcement at the direction of the Secret Service would have been positioned on those rooftops. One local police officer reportedly confronted the gunman on the roof, but backed off when he pointed his rifle. This individual was able to make an attack on the former president with limited capability, knowledge, and training, and that concerns me. Overnight, police opened the street in front of the would-be assassin's house. Thomas Crooks lived here with his parents, about an hour's drive from the shooting scene. <laughs> Friends and neighbors say he was a smart student and worked at a nursing home. He was just a real quiet kid. He stuck to himself. It appears Crooks had a passion for guns. He was a member at this firearms club. And on the day of the shooting, he wore a t-shirt sold by a popular YouTube channel focused on firearms. Officials say determining his mindset will take time. The ability to identify a, mo uh, a motive is something that um, uh, in this situation is a result of extensive and intensive um, investigation. The U.S. Homeland Security Secretary conceded that a clear line of sight like that should not have occurred, adding that changes have now been made to Trump's security detail to ensure his continued protection. Donna? Jeff, thanks.